Keep your eyes closed. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Just walk gently and let me guide you. All right. Still keep the eyes closed. Can I open it? No. You can open it now. Our love is so pure. Believe me when I say loving you was the best decision I've made in my entire life. Not only are you the most beautiful woman that I've met and I will ever meet. Your heart is made of gold. Pure gold. You're, you're the kindest human. You're so intentional about me. Intentional about us. And there is no other woman that I would rather spend the rest of my life with than with you. You see, Cassie, words cannot describe how much I love you. And I want to spend the rest of my life proving it to you. Cassie, that is if you accept to be my wife. Ask me already, please. Will you marry yes. me? Do you like it? If I like it, I love it. You love it? Mm -hmm. And I love you. And I love you. I'm here. Oh, what is this now? Why did you interrupt my, my kids? So, so you're still dreaming about that guy? Eh? You have to leave so that I can continue. Which oh, one more thing? Which one more thing? Which one more thing? Which one He proposed. Eh? He proposed. Oh my god, you need to have seen the romantic setting. God, the balloons, the petals, the flowers. Oh. To marry me, <laughs> and he gave me a diamond ring, a real one. <laughs> and his words, the most romantic words I've ever had in my whole life. And I said yes. <laughs> and I've been the event planner. It was funny. It's not funny. Stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see the real ring. Where is it? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I know this is not funny, and I'm not supposed to be laughing. This is a serious conversation. Uh -huh. But um, don't you think you need help? Help? No, I don't. That's my destined husband. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. So you mean your spiritual husband? What do you know about spiritual husbands? Hmm? Listen. I prayed to my God. Mm. I said, Lord, mm. please reveal who my destined husband is. Oh, yes. And ever since I said that prayer, mm. I have been seeing the same man in my dreams. What do you make out of this? I just need to meet him and connect with him. But the only problem is, I don't know his name, but I know his face. When I see him, I can't recognize him. Mm. Yes. Mm. Are you sure you prayed to God or you prayed to your spiritual husband? Ah. Anyway, see, do you know what I think? I think this is madness. 
But what I can seem to figure out is if you need psychiatric help or spiritual help, but whichever way, you shall need help. Chickens, why are you here again? My usual name, you know, best friends forever. Came to borrow some clothes, see you. Please help yourself, you know. Oh my god, that's why you're my just, It just has to be you that will walk in and interrupt this. You should be happy. What's one kiss for you two hours? Oh. Matchmaker. Oh. Matchmaker that will come and destroy love. I you. refuse to matchmake this one. God forbid. God forbid. My love, ah. love. Let me catch you on that love. life again. Hold that touch. Hello? Yes, good morning. This is Cassie's surprise event planner. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, I've needed more details. Of course, I, I can make some. Where? Uh, I'll, I'll find a place and send you an address. All right. Thank you. Bye. Was it the one on the phone? Can you leave my room? I'm leaving. Bye. Yeah. I, I took three, so I just tried it on and then. <laughs> If a pose, originally, that one drink. I gave you five minutes to... Oh, what are you doing here? I told you we were going to wait for you in the car. Who is she? Uh, no one. I, I was just leaving. Excuse me, Mom. Uh, okay, so I couldn't find um, what you wanted me to get, so I was thinking... I said, who is she? I, I don't know her. Cheat on you? I wasn't even talking to the girl. So why were you staring at her like that? I wasn't staring at her. Mm. You know what? Drop this thing, let's go. Just drop Wait, it. I... Let's go, we're done. I... Let's go! Let's go now! You're still staring. We're going live in three, two, one. Hi, guys. Welcome to today's edition of Hooking Up with T A S H A. Tasha, drum roll. Yes. My friends already know what we do. Yeah. But if you're joining us for the first time, this is where lovers meet, and I am here to much make them together. Ooh, because guess what? I love love. Ooh, <laughs> hold on. Mm. Oh wait, who doesn't love love? I mean, come on. Love is sweet. Love is special. Love is beautiful, don't get it twisted. But sadly, 
Sometimes love doesn't come easy. But you know what they say about good things. Anyway, my perception about love is through. Guess what? I'm on live video, man. That can't wait. Guess what I saw today? Ooh. Why did I not do? I saw him. I saw him. You saw who? The man in my dreams. I saw him today. I told you when I see him, I can recognize him, right? Mm. I saw him in the mall. We stared at each other for a while. And he looked at me like he knew me from somewhere. <laughs> Isn't that strange? <laughs> Tasha, what's funny? Wait, 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 wait. You, you no longer dream again. You now hallucinate. You don't believe me? <laughs> How am I supposed to? Huh? Okay, fine. I believe you. Mm. So tell me, did you two talk? Did you exchange contacts? I mean, did you tell him that you've been dreaming? No, that you're always seeing him in your dream every day. I didn't. I couldn't. I wouldn't say what to each other. How? I'm, I, wait. You mean you saw the man you've been dreaming of mm -hmm. every time? Mm hmm. And you couldn't talk to him. Why? I was going to. But. But his wife came out from nowhere and interrupted him. <laughs> Heavily pregnant. Oh my God, I'm dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You mean the man of your dream? Mm -hmm. The one you believe is gonna be your future hubby? That one is married. Oh my no, 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 God. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Not just married, his wife. Wife. His Emily. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> oh my God, how am I gonna match make this too? Okay, fine. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, okay, fine. Mm. Joke apart, okay. My serious, my serious face is on right now. So tell me, what are you gonna do about it? I mean, are you going to give up or break his arm? What are you gonna do? Come on, I'm just curious now. I don't know. You don't know? So you're thinking of breaking somebody's home? You don't know? I better let me continue to buy stuff. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> Brother, I know I promised not to disturb you again. But I know that if you were here with me, you would have listened to everything I have to say. And you would have given me the best advice ever. But you're not here. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Remember that man I told you about? Yes. The one I kept dreaming about. Mm -hmm. the, the one I fell in love with, even without meeting. Yes, him. 
Guess what, brother? I saw him today. Yes, I did. But he's married, brother. He has a pregnant wife and they look happy together. What do I do? Where does this leave me? Where does this leave me? What do I do? Enough! Enough! Enough of all this! Enough of what? Enough of you talking to me anyhow! Enough of you laying your hands on me! Enough of the disrespect! Wait, so it has now come to the point where you begin to yell at me in public? Come on Abigail, this will not work. What will not work? Oh, so then I go ahead to do my worst then. Right? Don't you think so? I just go ahead and tell everybody the secret you've been hiding. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Abigail, for how long do you want to continue to do this? For how long? How long did you want to blackmail me for? How long? For as long as you and I are together. That's how long. I do not love you. You know it and I know it. Mm -hmm. But you love your sister, don't you? And I'm sure you will do anything to protect her. Even if it means getting married to me. Marriage? Mm-hmm. Abigail, I mean, we're talking about marriage now. <laughs> Timmy, don't be silly. Do you think I'm going to be a baby mama forever? Of course not. Look, let me tell you something. We are not married right now because I really don't want this pregnancy to spoil my vibes because I really intend to have a lot of fun on my wedding. For your information, let me give you this breakdown. I'm sure you're going to love it. Hmm? I plan to have a five-star wedding segment hmm? where my bridal shower will be done in Dubai hmm? and you will fly our family to Ghana for a traditional wedding <laughs> and of course our wedding, our sweet wedding will be done in, let me see, ah, London, a very fine beach in London. After that, our reception will be done in Paris. Paris. You know Paris now. The city of love. <laughs> oh ah, hold on, I'm not done. Let me finish. You don't be in a hurry. Then, our honeymoon will take place in Greece. Don't you just love love, baby? Come here. <laughs> Abigail. Oh, yes. All of this is a joke, right? You think it is? Let me tell you something, Timmy. You are going to do anything I say. I mean everything. And you have no choice. Oh, God. Hello, ma'am. No, 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 no. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. My car broke down. I promise you I'll be there soon. I just don't know. I'm trying to fix it. No, no, no. I'm not going to disappoint you. I promise you I'll get an Uber and I'll meet in less than 10 minutes. Please be patient. Ma Hello? God. Why would this car break down to do of all days and Hassan is not even picking his call? How do I even get a mechanic around here? How do I know? Oh. Ah, what do I know how? Oh, God. Is it me? Um, hi. Do you need help with your car? I was asking if you need my help with your car. Hello, do you need my help? 
Oh, my, 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 my guy, of, of course, yes, I, I need your help. My, he, he just broke down and I'm really in a haze. Um, I, I don't know how to fix it. My mechanic is not picking up soon. Women always don't know the problem with the cars. Well. Uh, I guess you know a lot about women. I, I guess your wife never knows how to fix a car or what's wrong with it. Well, actually, I don't know how to fix cars myself. What? I'm not. <laughs> you, you, you cannot help me? I'm not a mechanic. Oh, God. I have an important client to meet and she's waiting. If I don't meet up, I'll have to do a refund. And I hate refunds. Okay, so how about we do it like this? You leave the car here. I drop you off for your appointment. And then you finish and get a mechanic to come check it. You want to drop me off? Of course. Well, um, wouldn't that affect your plans for today? Uh, actually, I was going to the gym. But you know, that can wait. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you, your lifesaver. God bless you. Thank you. All right, then. You can get in. Thank you. You're such a lifesaver. <laughs> You're welcome. That's the thing about cars. They disappoint you when you least expect. Uh, tell me about that. So, uh, tell me exactly where you're going so i could drop you off okay i'll just put the address in the google map and then so tell me what do you do me yeah i overheard you on the phone talking about the appointment and all that oh i run an event planning business oh event planning meaning you're a big chick <laughs> it's not that big it's just a business i started online but now I have an office. That's good. Do you have your business card? Huh? Well, me, I might be needing your services soon or any of my friends. Oh, sure. Hey. Cassandra. I like to be called Cassie. That's a nice name. Thank you. Oh. Hello? Timmy, where are you? Why the hell are you yelling? Why are you screaming? I told you I was going to the gym. So the gym is more important than me, right? The gym is more important than the baby. What are you talking about? Timmy, I'm dying. I'm dying. I don't know what's happening to me. What? What, what is going on? What, what's wrong with you? I can't feel my baby anymore. What is wrong with the baby? You have to start coming now. I'm in pain. Abig. Is everything okay? Yeah. Um, I need to... I need to make a U-turn and go back. Uh, so I should come down here? Yes, please. I need you to get down. How do I get to where I'm going to? Well, get a car or something. A cab? I'm in the middle of nowhere. How, how do I get a cab? Then book a ride. You have the app on your phone, right? Please, get down. Hey, you... Jesus Christ. You guys know, I'm just chilling. Snap bum. I'm here. Are, are you okay? Is anything wrong with the pay? So, this is why you, you made me leave everything I was doing. To come and watch you do Snapchat. 
Instagram, drink juice and, and all of this stuff. And what were you doing? Tell me. What were you doing? Let me guess. Touching and rubbing, probably massaging those women at the gym all in the name of personal trainer. Isn't that what you were doing? Abigail, is, is, this, is this all you think of me? Is this what you think of me? But that is what it is. Isn't that how I got you? Isn't that how I got you? You only took me to register at the gym and made you my personal trainer and here you are. <laughs> Point of correction. You were making advances at me which I never gave in to. Never. Hmm. Until you started blackmailing me. Get the story right. Well, at least it got me what I wanted. My baby. Anyway, you're going to quit that gym. What? You heard me. This is bullshit. All of this is bullshit. It will not work. Honey, you don't even have a choice. Come and kiss the baby. The baby needs your pieces. Oh, sugar. Motherfuckers. Mm hmm. My snap fan. You came to return your clothes, sir. Tasha, how many times have I told you to stop going to my stuff without my consent? Sorry, no verse. I think I'm doing one transition video. And why are you folding them and leaving them there? Was this where you picked them? Please hang them back. Uh, uh, just be coming down there. Uh -uh. Why are you going to pour your aggression on me now? Let me say you miss your appointment. I wonder if you will call me. Are you okay? What is it? What is not it? Huh? When is the one complaining and ranting about how he made you miss your appointment? And what has that got to do with anything? What exactly is your plan? Take him away from his wife? I have no plan. I just feel like there's something there. I, I, I can feel it in my gut. I met him twice already. I feel like this is not coincidence. This is just fate trying to bring us together. Hmm? Fate. Mm hmm Wait, let me ask you. Are you trying to be a second wife or a side chick? Baby girl, leave this man alone now. Take your eyes off him. Come on now. Fine. Here's what's gonna happen. If he calls me, then it's fate. If he doesn't, then it's just coincidence. Hmm? Whatever. I beg my clothes transition. I've never seen a matchmaker that, 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 that is so against love. Well, break my door. Break my door. You're now cheating on me. Give me that back. Give it to me. I I am not cheating on you. Well, you're trying to. 
You know what you just did right now is uncalled for, right? Sneaking out of bed by this time of the night, coming downstairs to call a woman is not called for? Is that what you're telling me? Do you even know who she is? I don't care! Abigail, you're educated, right? Use your brain, use your eyes. That is the business card. What if it is business? Timmy, you should know better than doing business with women. It won't work with me. Abigail, at this point, you're doing too much. Oh. And what are you going to do? Break up with me? Break up with you? Mm -hmm. For starters, we are not even dating. <laughs> Stop living in denial, Timmy. You and I are stuck together. Hmm? I should direct that to you. You're the one who's living in denial. You're the one making yourself believe that we're in love. You're the one making yourself believe that we're in a relationship. Yes. Well, reality check. You're all alone on this. Honey, I'm carrying your child. Hmm? Well, I know you planned this. That's why you asked for a night together in exchange for your silence. Or my sister's secret, right? Wait, what are you expecting? That after that night of sex, I won't get pregnant? Are you that daft? Stop it. <laughs> oh, Timmy. Mm. Abigail. Hmm? You're a very beautiful woman. Oh, thank you. And you're full of potential. I remember the time we had our first workout session and you told me about your dreams. You told me about your goals, your aspirations, what you wanted to do. And I was, I was inspired. I was blown away. I was, you know, impressed. As a matter of fact, I was, I was rooting for you. But now you have become this woman who has stooped so low to blackmail a man to be with her. When you could be so, so much more. I mean, you, is this how you want to live the rest of your life? I am very sure that there's a man out there who's willing to love you, keep you, cherish you for... for Enough! Enough of this, your motivational speech, okay? I don't need any man. All I need is you. What? Look, you and I need each other, okay? We're stuck together. I love you and that's what's important. Hmm? Anyway, I think you, just, you shouldn't uh, contact me. Honey, don't upset me. Hmm? Let's go back to bed, baby. Come on. Let's go. Let's go back to bed. And don't contact this lady again. Alright? Let's go. Let's go cuddle. The baby needs you. Maybe we should poison her. Hmm? What? It's the only thing I can think about. Then you need to throw away your head. Jesus Christ. Timmy, I know you are doing this for me, but still, like, I can't help to think that I'm the reason why you're stuck with this Jezebel. I'm not happy. I'm not happy one bit. This is not how I pictured my life to be. I know. I pictured my life happy with a woman that I love, with my kids. And when I look at Abigail, I don't see none of that happening. Then dump her. Just get rid of her. And watch you get thrown into jail? Come on. 
Fine. Then let's kill her. Jesus. Just, just stop, okay? It is the ease with which you say these things you say. Ha! Is it that easy for you? It's, it's all that I can think about. The fact that I'm doing all of this doesn't mean I support your way of life. I'm only doing this because I promised mom on a dying bed that I was going to take care of you and not abandon you. That's it. Right. Then I'll just go to jail or you get stuck with her. Hmm? Are you are you even remorseful? Yeah, hello. Yeah, my name is Timmy. I, I'm, of course, yes, I, I do personal training. Okay, um, send me a message, I'll revert back. Thank you very much. We have been sitting here for more than 10 minutes and you haven't said anything. I've been thinking of how best to put this without sounding weird. Trust me, sir. Nothing can be weirder than you sitting here and staring at me. I mean, you called me for this meeting. You said you wanted me to throw a surprise party for you. I want a surprise package that comes with fear. Panic, shock. I want something terrifying, something wrapped around horror, hypertension. Um, sir, sorry, you died the wrong Hey, hey, mind. hey, calm down. Okay. I guess I didn't put this out with the right vibe, but then I promised to make you understand. Oh, again, okay. I didn't catch the vibe, sir. Don't worry. I just got out of jail. Eh? Come on, don't look at me like that. I didn't commit the crime. I was set up. I was supposed to do 14 years for a crime I did not commit. Thank God I've been vindicated. But then, I want to shock my fiancé. Uh, okay. Um, cool story. But please, sir, uh, how do I come in in all of this? She set me up. Okay. She doesn't know I'm out yet. Okay. It's her birthday in two days, and I think it's the best time to surprise her. Uh, oh, and uh, you want me to throw a birthday party for her? And then you'd come in? Come on, I don't know how this will play out. That's why I'm hiring you. So, you can do this, right? Well, sir, I only do happy surprises. I am willing to double the price you asked for. Okay, um, I'll be needing her details. Okay, her name? I'll follow the details to you on WhatsApp. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Never mind. Um, I hope it wasn't difficult to get in this place. No, actually, it was quite easy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, now. So, are just... you ready? Yep, I'm ready. That's my friend. She's gonna. Cassie! Come, 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 come. It's my personal trainer. What? My personal trainer. Yo. Uh, 
Um, hi. Uh, hi. You yeah, what? You know you hear me? I said personal trainer. You don't see fine, but I just shake. Leave me alone. Um, I'll, I'll be waiting for you. All outside. right. No problem. <laughs> Um, see, my fans want to kill me. They're telling me to lose weight. They're just throwing me up and down. That's Jack! That's him! That's who? The guy! Which guy? How am I supposed to know the guy? The guy from my dreams. The same guy I have been dreaming about. The one I told you I saw at the mall. The one that gave me a lift and stopped halfway. The same guy. That's Jack. No way. Yes. Way. How did you find him? I didn't know it was the guy. I just saw his fitness page on IG. And I contacted him, that's all. Oh, the fitness trainers on IG. You didn't see anyone but my dream husband. I was supposed to know he's your dream husband. Can't you see the way the guy is fine? Uh-uh. <gasps> Lasha, please. I beg you, this cannot work. Huh? Please, I'll pay you. I'll double the money. I don't understand. Suck him. He's he, he so cool. Who should I subscribe your phone for you? Yeah, whatever he's you want. He's not a stack. He's stack as him. Subscribe this for that. I don't want. I have money. I can do all that. See, no be me go, 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 go send them away. Now like you go see him. Anytime you see him, you go come on your face. You go just see, you know, see. If they come like this, you go go like this. You go look like this. You come on your face. How? Okay? How what? That's not going to be possible. This is someone I've been seeing in my dreams. How do you expect me to see him and then act like I'm not seeing him? Make it make sense. Then stop dreaming about him. You know? Um, babe, listen, um, maybe, maybe this is fate, you know, you guys reuniting together, coming back, maybe it's all fate, you know, because the first time you saw him, you couldn't say Jack, you were like, huh, so <sighs> now talk, when you see him, talk to him, one on one, okay? It's not going to work. Please let him go. I'm not Please letting him go anywhere. Yeah. That trainer. Eh? Which trainer? This is the trainer I want. I'm not telling him to go anywhere. Uh -uh. Ah, ah. Please, please. I'll give you anything. I don't want you anything. Let me go and meet my trainer. Please, close your mouth. Fly is coming. This guy is wicked. You don't even understand. Matchmaker. Matchmaker that is so single. How many people have you matched with since I met you? You're just so wicked. Timmy! Timmy! Babe! Timmy! Timmy! This house without wishing me happy birthday. For God's sake, I was even reminding him every day in the last one week. How can he leave without wishing me happy birthday? Even if you don't love me, at least care now. What's this? Hello? Yeah, I'll be girl on the line. Who's this? A surprise? For me? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, just send me the address. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, baby, you should have told me. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> Hello? Hassan, where are you? What? What do you mean by that? How? What do you mean the car broke down? But I thought you fixed it already. Oh, Hassan, why do you keep disappointing me with this car? For crying out loud, you said you fixed it. You know what, just save it. Fix my car and bring it immediately. What's all this? Ah. This guy just knows how to disappoint me. How do I leave here now? And I have a meeting. God, what's all this? What's the meaning of this? Every time my, my, my car is just breaking down with you. Hi, Cassie. 
You're having car issues again? Yes, but I don't need your help. Well, you, you know you could use my car, right? I just said I don't need your help. Okay, Cassie, this is me saying sorry for the last time. Fine, but I'll just take your car. You seem like you're in a haste. You know you could save time by taking my car. I'm going to be out for so long. Wouldn't you need your car sooner? Uh, I'll just use an Uber. But how would you get your car back? Okay, I'll get your contact and then whenever you're done, you could just, you know, call me. Okay. Okay then, here you go. Thank you. All right, so give me. Call your number. 070. I just want to apologize for, you know, tearing your card, the one you gave to my man. <laughs> it's just that I thought you wanted to cheat on me with you. <laughs> I had no idea you guys were planning this. <laughs> Is this for me? Oh my God. I love gifts. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. This is... What's going on here? Is this a joke or what? Are, are you guys trying to play a prank on me here? Or what is the meaning of this? Uh, Madam, please, please calm down, okay? Your gift will walk right through this door in any moment. Just relax, okay? <sighs> Happy birthday. Are you shocked? Ken. Oh, oh, oh. You, you lost your tongue. How, 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 how did you get out? Exactly the question I've been expecting you to ask. You see, I just thought it wise to come around to surprise you on your birthday, your special day. But then it is obvious that you are not pleased to see me. But then, I am sure my baby is. Thank you for keeping the baby. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, this is not your baby. Abby the Grace. Your brain is shot away, Abby. The child is not yours. Did a madman screw your mother before she gave birth to you? From my calculations, this baby is mine. How dare you even play such pranks with me, such games? Are you even joking? How, how, how did you even get out? Oh, you were expecting me to rot in there, right? Shame you! You set me up right. Mm -hmm. You called the cops on me, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know. I put it to you that you set me up. Right now, I feel like strangling you to death. But then, I really need to get my baby out of you first. Look, 
I already told you, this is not your child, okay? Let's assume this never happened, all right? It never happened. Excuse me. How dare you? Where do you think you're going with my child? My son is not your child! Get out of my way! You can't! You can run to hell, Abigail, but I'll find you. <sighs> um, sir, I hope this is not a bad time to ask for my balance. Fine, I get it. It's shocking. But what I don't get is why you should be walked up like it's any of your BIS. So, apparently, this guy lent me his car mm -hmm. to go and surprise his wife, courtesy of another man. Make it make sense. But on a serious note, I don't remember you saying anything about him introducing the lady to you as his wife. What I do know is that he believes that he's the father of the child she's carrying. And now another man is claiming the child. Hmm. I should tell him. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Cassandra, tell him what? Uh, was well, just a thought. Huh? Which thought? Please remove that thought out of your head. Remove it. Come, come. Remove it out. Uh, no. Out of your head. No. Uh, Oh, I, I want to remove my own wig. Calm down. What's wrong with you? No, no, it seriously. Too much. Mm -mm. But for, see, you have to remove that thought off your head. Please just remove the thought of it out of your head, okay? And just throw it very far. I know you like him very much, I know. And you wish that he wasn't committed to any other woman apart from you. But seriously, it is none of your business. It is none of your business. I'll call him. Huh? Why are you calling him? To tell him to come and pick up his car. Chill. Don't say anything about it. Okay, I'm moving here safe. Call him now. Talk now. Hi. Um, this is Cassie. This is me calling to say that I'm done with the car. You can come and pick it up. And to say thank you too. Um, when can I drop it off right there? Oh, oh, okay. Even better. As long as that's convenient for you. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't for you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. What is wrong with you? What is what? Because I don't want you to just go and spill. Uh-uh. you go and see what you're supposed to say. Well, he said he'll pick up his car tomorrow when he comes to train you. I'm going in. Not a very long day. Eh. Uh, but wait. Avoid every art to spill, you know? Your mouth is too. Ah, okay, that's better. Oh, no, give me the key. Let me hold it for you. No, it's safe You here. can go and unlock it. <laughs> <laughs> give me the key, Joe. Yeah, you like it. Give me that invisible key. Rubbish. Don't say anything. What's that meeting? Ah. So funny. I know, I've thrown the key away, Shah. You'll not sit again. Don't go and spill anything, no. You're unbelievable. I know. And that's why you love me. I don't. You do. I don't. love you too, baby. <laughs> Don't spill! I will try!
Shall we join you soon? That's all right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank me another way. <laughs> what other way? Go out on a date with me. Yes. No. Shoot. I mean, are you, are you not supposed to be married? <laughs> no, you're wrong. I'm not married. You're not married? No. What about the woman I saw you with at the mall? She's not my wife. And... Uh, uh, it's a long story anyway. Well, not to prognose or anything, but I'm interested in this, your long story. Okay, I'll tell you all about it. Okay. Only if you agree to go out with me on a date. <laughs> okay, I saw what you did there. Miss Cassie, date or no date? Date. <laughs> All right then, we'll talk on the phone. Okay. 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 <laughs> hey. Hey. Are you ready? Mm. All right, I'll be outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to train this client and I feel like every time she goes back to the UK I'm starting my work from a fresh shit. What? <laughs> so I feel like I'm not even doing anything because I, I don't know, I'll give her a diet plan, I will give her several workout routines. And, and stuff, and she'll come back telling me, oh, you're not training me well, and, oh, God, I was so, you know, I was so tired when I saw her today. What did you do? I told her, you know, that I, I was booked for the whole month, and the next month, and the month after. <laughs> oh, my God. But, but how do you cope with all these ladies touching you during the workout? <laughs> but the thing is that you cannot avoid it. Because you're good looking and they'll try. I'm not saying anything. You're the one. You're the one saying that now. Like, mm -mm, I, didn't, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that it's time for you to look for another job. <clears throat> Guess what? I'm going on a date. <laughs> yes, with the same man I've always told you about. Mm -hmm. He asked me out on a date. But frankly, a part of me is excited. But the other part is really wondering what's going on between him and that pregnant lady I saw him with. I think their relationship is complicated because another man is claiming the child. Could you believe that? Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I don't think it's anything to worry my pretty head about. Hmm? I just want to go out on this date, get to know him, Let's see what fate has in stock for us. I will tell you all about it when I return, okay? You still do this? Come on, Cassie. You can't keep talking to a picture frame. It's not just a frame. I know, but it's been months since you lost your brother. Allow the poor guy rest in peace. 
it's barely a year, Tasha. And talking to this picture for it makes me feel like he's still here with me. I understand you. And I understand how you and your brother were really close. I'm missing. I know. It's written all over your face. But you know, like I always say, you will be fine. Okay? Mm? <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> Guess who's here? He's here. He's here. He's here. How do I look? Hmm. You look like um, an half baked beans. Not today. Please. You look beautiful. Very <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. But babe, seriously, do not get your hopes high. Oh? So high already. You it don't know the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the funny one. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Saying you're beautiful is an understatement. <laughs> you look magnificent. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right. Come with me. Thank you. All right. Thank there you. you. Go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Your brother is not at home. I'm here to see you. Me? Here. This is all I have in all my bank accounts combined. And why are you giving me this? Because I don't mind giving it all up to see my brother happy again. And what are you implying? What I am implying is that you are in charge of my brother's happiness and let's say I'm paying you off. I'm buying it from you. <laughs> Wait, you're still making no sense, darling. Okay, so... <clears throat> Here is the thing, Abigail. My brother is not happy in this relationship. I don't know if you are, but he is not. And I don't think he will ever be. Mm. So I am paying you so that you can leave him alone. You are still very young. There's so much you can do with your life. And with this money, you can actually start anything you want, something tangible. It is better off than forcing yourself to be in a relationship with a man who doesn't want you. Oh, he deserves better too. He deserves to find someone he loves. Or don't you think so? <laughs> Abigail. Abigail, right? I've been waiting to record your name again. You they mad. They first your brain. I give you a check, you tear and you they mad. What were you thinking? Hmm? Oh. Were you thinking this is some movie where money just changed people's minds just like that? He no love you. Rest. Honey, but I love him. Hmm? How about that? You were delusional. Hmm. You call it this love? This thing. You have for my brother, you call it love? You know, Nancy, you should be the last person talking about love. Tell me, 
What happened to your last boyfriend? <laughs> you know, you should be the last person talking about love. In fact, the word love shouldn't even revolve around this lips of yours. Hmm? Think about it. I'll write you another check if you want me to. Use the door. Cassie, tell me about you. I, I really want to get to know you better. Mm, there's nothing much to know about me. Do you know my name already? What I do and where I live. So that's pretty much it. Well, you know my name and you know exactly what I do. Mm -hmm. You go to people's houses to train them. Actually, I run a gym. And from time to time, I do go to people's houses, but it is not what you think. <laughs> How do you know what I'm thinking? I'm, trust me, I know exactly what you think. <laughs> Maybe it's just your conscious playing tricks on you. <laughs> um, uh, well, <clears throat> someone promised to tell me a very long story today. And we're here. So. Oh, come on, Cassie, can I, can we not talk about this right now? <laughs> wow. Someone clearly tricked me into this date. Well, I did not trick you. Neither do I have any intentions of deceiving you. I just don't want to deprive myself of having the second date with you. Oh. <laughs> You're thinking second date already. How cute. But... Not telling me, might also not, you know, give you that chance of a second date with me. So, which is it? Is it like that? <laughs> All right then, I'll tell you everything. The truth. Of course, I, I always say the truth. I never lie. That's a good thing. So let's hear it. The pregnant lady is not my wife. Hmm? And she's not even my girlfriend. She's someone I used to train. And I knew she liked me. She had made several passes at me, but trust me, I never gave in to any of them. But one day, one day, one day she, she overheard a secret she wasn't supposed to. And in exchange for her silence, she, she asked that I spend one night with her. Did you? It was supposed to be one night. But she came back a few weeks later Claiming she was pregnant. What? Yeah. I couldn't ask her to get rid of it because what matter of mine would I be if I supported abortion? Well, fast forward, she's already asking for a relationship. She. And before I knew it, she, she moved in with me and now she's talking marriage. <laughs> wow. I don't love her. I don't even like her as a person. 
but I, I feel a burden in my heart because the secret has to be kept. It has to. This is not how I want to live. I, I, I want to love. I want to be in love. I want to feel love. I, I don't want to feel coerced into it. I must confess, this is messy. I know. Uh, and I also know that I, I... I just might have ruined any chance of us getting to be with each other. But... Can we at least be friends? Of course. I mean, I'm here for you. I don't know what the future holds for us, but what I do know is that I'm here for you, okay? Thank you. Welcome. So, what can we, like, eat? <laughs> We're just getting cold. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh... Okay. What if he's a kidnapper? Oh, what if he's a ritualist? What if he's a drug trafficker? What if he's a assassin? He's none of that. And you know because... Oh, so does it look like someone who is involved in all that you have mentioned? Oh, I'm almost at the right time for Faiso. Eh? He seems like a nice person. He seems like a nice person. Just two seconds ago, you just met this guy. Babe, all I'm trying to say is that you don't know the secrets that this guy is protecting. This secret might be bad. I don't even care. Everyone has secrets. Don't you have secrets? Secret past secrets. Mm, I don't care. You still don't care? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. There you go. I should go. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. No wahala. Bye. It might be a kidnapper. It's not. I love love. Drug trafficker. I love love. You say what's it? I love. Love. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I love. Okay, I like that. Now, okay. Cool. I love you too. <laughs> hey.
Hey. Ooh. How do I look? Turn around. Hmm. <laughs> Someone is looking sexy. Mm -hmm. To go to the club. Club? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to the club. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, Timmy's friend is throwing a birthday party. Timmy wants me to be his date. How sweet. Ooh, how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Timmy and this Timmy guy are getting serious. Serious? Mm -hmm. We're still just friends. Mm, friends? Mm -hmm. With... Mm -mm. No! Ah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, I didn't say neither. It's becoming obvious that you two like each other. Is mm -hmm. that a bad thing? Uh-uh. I, I didn't say anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. But? I know you've always believed that he's your destined man. But I want you to understand that there's every possibility that things might not go as smoothly as you want. But you know, like you always say, what will be, will be. Hmm? He's here. He's here. He's here already. Mm -hmm. Boom. Au revoir. Lovely. Ooh. Ooh. Go rock it, buddy. <laughs> rock it, rock it, rock it. Shake that booty. Shake the booty. Be serious for me. I want. You cannot shake the booty again. <laughs> You look good, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, now, let's go live. We're live in three, two, one. Hi, guys. It's your girl, T to the A to the S to the H A. Tasha, drum roll. <laughs> Boom. Yes. Like we're always doing, this is another edition of a beautiful moment. Thank you so much. I've not had this much fun in a long time. No. Thank you for coming out with me. Call me when you get home, okay? Yeah, of course I will. By the way, Tasha and I don't have a session tomorrow because it's weekend. So I have to be at the gym. Oh, yeah. so I won't be seeing you tomorrow? Uh, we could hang out. There's a new lounge in town and I, I'd like us to try it out. Sure, we should. As long as it's convenient for you. Of course, always. I'd rather be with you than I'll be at home alone. And... I have never been this happy with anyone else. Me too. Hey, there's something on your cheek. Let's... Come, let me take a look. Uh... <laughs> okay, I should go. All right. Bye, that's it. Of course. going for a birthday party with a friend. And who did you go with? 
What are you talking about? I paid someone to spy on you throughout the event. So that girl? Huh? <laughs> Tell me. What did she say about me? And what is she supposed to say about you? Huh? You know, I'm glad that you're not denying the fact that you were with a girl. Well, there is nothing to deny. I went to the birthday party with her. He went to the birthday party with her? Yes. So who is she? Why am I even standing here and acting like I'm in a job interview? Well, since you want to snoop around, she's a girl I am very interested in. right to my face. Well, that's why I have a knife. Abigail, it, it hasn't gotten to this. Put down the knife. Don't do anything stupid. I, mean, I want to end Ab this. Abby, Abby, stop. I want to end this, damn it. Abby, Abby, Let me Abby, stop, me. stop, stop, stop. Please, I beg you. You belong oh. to me. Abby, Abigail, you belong Abigail, to Abigail, me. Abigail, Abigail, Abigail. And please. if anyone Abigail, tries to take you, I'll be there right away. I'm, I'm coming right away. doing? We were able to stop the bleeding and stitch the wounds but he lost a lot of blood already so we'll be needing a blood transfusion. Okay, um, is there blood available? Do I need to pay for it? What do we do? That's the problem. We do not have blood unless we get a donor. I'll donate. Ready? Okay, that's fine. So we'll be running um, some tests to see if you're compatible. That's fine. Okay, come with me. Okay. Thank you so much. The doctor told me you donated blood for me. Mm -hmm. I'm happy my blood was compatible to yours. But why would she stab you? I can't believe she did that. Tell me, what is the secret she's holding over you? What happens if she spills? If the secret gets out, my sister goes to jail. It's that serious? Yes. And my sister is the only family I have left. I can't afford to lose her. And even though she lives her life recklessly, and I'm not proud to call her my sister, a family will always be family. I understand you. 
I lost my brother some months ago. And he was the only family I had left. So, I understand you perfectly. When he died, I thought I couldn't continue to live. They say, time heals all wounds. But not this one. Not this wound. I believe you only learn to live with it. Cassie. I know I cannot replace your brother. But I can I can stand in for him. And not only do I want to be a brother to you, I want to be your best friend. And I want to be your lover. <laughs> Cassie, would you be my girlfriend? Yes, I will be your girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, easy. <laughs> Sorry. I love you. I love you too. I loved you even before I met you. <laughs> Sorry. What are you even doing here? You can't be here. Well, I told you I was going to find you even if you run to hell. Look, you need to leave. Okay? So it is true. You moved in with another man shortly after my arrest. Same arrest that you planned. What are you even talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. I was supposed to travel. To go in search of greener pastures for you. For us. And then, shortly after I got my visa, we discovered you were pregnant. You didn't want me to go, but I had no choice. My cousin sent a parcel for me to deliver to his brother abroad. And you convinced me to open it. I did. And then we discovered it was filled with illicit drugs. You said it made sense why he was actually giving me so much money to deliver the parcel. And you convinced me to go ahead with the delivery. You, Abigail, convinced me. Now will you tell me? How I got crossed by the drug enforcement agency on my way to the airport. I don't know. I don't, okay? I have no idea. That was an obvious setup. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe by your cousin, not me. Same cousin who came out clean to claim me off the mess. And it took him this long to do that? Look, I'm not interested in your lies and your defenses, okay? You've been a pathological liar all your life. What I'm interested in is my baby in the inside of you. And if you say that this baby doesn't belong to me and that it belongs to your current victim of a lover, then you leave me with no choice but to go for a DNA test. Then fine. Fine. When the baby is born, we'll go for a DNA test. You don't have to bother your head, my dear little sneaky, slimy snake. I had my research done. Okay? So we don't have to waste such precious time. I know it's possible to have a DNA test done on a child unborn. So, can we book an appointment already?
Can you go now? I decide when I leave. Which? So, are you going to tell him about the guy claiming the baby? Do you think I should? Of course. Yeah, since it has gotten to her stabbing him, he's obviously not safe with her anymore. Maybe telling him might help him out. Telling him that he's not responsible for the pregnancy and that should be his getaway. That's a good man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll take this food to him at the hospital, then I'll tell him. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Don't miss me too much. I won't miss you since you're taking food to go and meet a man. Do you mind if I take back the key to my lip? So that that, uh, that one. Yeah, to you. It's right back in at the you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Be safe, yeah? Thank you. All right. I go love Tusha. <laughs> <laughs> This is love. You mean she did this to you and you didn't even tell me? You needed blood to me, but you didn't even call me. I already told you my girlfriend donated blood. Besides, who would look at you like this and ask you to donate blood? With all the drugs you take. Fair enough. But to me, who is this girl? I don't even know her. Where is she? She'll be here anytime soon. Stay around, you get to meet her. Unbelievable. Here we are still trying to get you out of one entanglement and you're already been in a relationship with another woman. Okay, so because I'm in an entanglement, I shouldn't fall in love. <gasps> you're in love? I am in love. Are you serious? Timmy! Do you like her that much? Yeah, I actually love her. Babe. You? You, you know my sister? Your sister? What is, what's going on? Somebody talk to me, what's going on? What's going on? Like, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, no. Sorry. Uh, just... C Cassie! Is, is that her? The, the, the girl you said you're in love with? Is that her? Yes, of course. That's, 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 that's my girlfriend. Oh, oh. Okay, talk to me. What, what, what is it? Sister. What? The first time I saw her with my brother, I never liked her. Something about her appearance that just screamed trouble. I had a very bad feeling about her. I knew that my brother was in a toxic relationship from the little he told me about her. I tried. Tasha. I tried to talk him out of that toxic relationship, but he wouldn't listen to me. He said he loved her. And he believed she would change. He believed so much that he could change her. When I heard that, then my <laughs> when I heard that my brother died from a home accident, a lot didn't sit well with me. So when she didn't call or sent a condolence message or at least paid in his last respect by coming for his burial, I began to suspect that maybe... Maybe she had, a, she had a hand in his death, or at least knew someone who killed him. But when I saw her today, 
when I saw the shock on her face when she saw me. He confirmed, he confirmed my assumptions. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, so you said you wanted to see me. Yes, please. Uh, I need you to tell me something that you know. And what is that? I need you to tell me the secret about Timmy's sister. Why? Because I need to know if it has anything to do with my brother's death. Your brother? Yes. Who is your brother? He used to date Timmy's sister. Oh. Yes, his name was Collins. Please. Um, <clears throat> we should have a deal. Okay, anything. I spill the secret and you keep mine. Everything that happened at the hotel stays between us. Deal. Your secret is safe with me. Okay, so, um, Timmy used to be my personal trainer. Sometimes at home and sometimes at the gym. But all of a sudden, he stopped. He stopped taking my calls. He stopped showing up. And in one fateful evening, I decided to pay him a bit safe. Okay. And what you are telling me right now makes absolutely no me. freaking you sense. Are you listening to me? I said it was an accident. Can't you get it? It was an accident. I didn't mean to kill him. I didn't want to kill him. Oh, it was an accident. Nancy, I've always warned you, right? I've warned you about your bad temper and your use of illicit drugs, but you don't listen. Now look at the mess you have been in. I wasn't even on drugs. I didn't mean to kill Collins. I didn't mean to kill him. You're even getting the point. Okay, what happened? It was an argument, okay? It was just an argument. I was at this place, we were having a, we were having a misunderstanding, I wasn't having it, I wanted to leave, but he kept stopping me. I got angry and I just, I just, I just pushed him. I just wanted to go, I just pushed him to me and then he fell and hit his head on the table, on the class table near Paloy. Oh my God, this, this is bad. Did, did, did anybody see you? You think, you think I'm going to go to jail? Go Shut up! I am trying to think! I'm going to go to jail! Oh. Shit! To me! Oh my god. Look. I didn't want to go in because I was afraid they would take my phone and get rid of the evidence. So I had to go back home and I duplicated it. And then the next day, I went to see Timmy. And since then, he's, he's been wrapped around my arm. Uh, oh my God. No. I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Please, can, uh, can I have this video? Sure, I, I can. I can send it to you on WhatsApp. Okay, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cut me. I'm sorry. Even my father the right thing. Emma in a We have an appointment with the doctor for twelve noon tomorrow. Make sure you don't miss it for anything in the world. Oh. 
Sorry. Hello. Hi, Cassie. Please, we we need to talk. Your sister killed my brother, and you covered up for her. Before you say another word, I have the video ready. I had no idea. I had no idea he was your brother. This is not the point. Either you knew or not. The guy could have been anyone's brother. That guy could have been anyone's son. But you covered up for your murderer of his sister. Cassie, I swear it wasn't deliberate. It was an accident. She, she didn't mean to kill him. I, I, I can't imagine what you're going through right now, but I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I'm sorry. Don't tell me sorry. We're sorry to bring back my brother. You're sorry because he got caught. You weren't sorry when you were doing everything possible to keep this secret. You went as far as taking responsibility for another man's child. Cousin, what are you talking about? Timmy, my brother will not die and your sister lives. I hope you know what that means. Cousin, uh, he hello. Cousin. Timmy, what did she say? She saw the video. Oh, okay, so, so what are we going to do now? I've done everything I can for you. You're on your own now. No, oh, to me, we, we, to me, you need to help me. Talk to her, say something. Stay away from me. You're going to choose her over me? It's me. It's me. Ah, go of me. What was all that about? I asked you a question. What has this been all about? Ugh. Why did I stay miserable this past month if you were going to spill the truth anyway? I should be mad at you by now. I should begin to tear this whole place apart. But I'm relieved. I mean, what was I thinking? I, I shouldn't have even tried to cover up for Nancy in the first place. I shouldn't have. Why did I put myself on the line? Why did I subject myself to your treachery and your manipulation. Why? I keep, I keep asking myself these questions. I can't find the answers. I can't.
Let me ask you. Oh, you're hurting me. Stop it. It's that thing in your tummy you've been mine. It's that child mine. Of course not. I was already pregnant before we had sex. Besides, you can't blame me. Look at you. You're so hot. I really wanted to be with you. And do you know what that cost me? It took my ex to jail. But, you know, it is what it is now. Hmm? Um, the deceased sister. <laughs> yeah. She has the evidence already. I'm sure you know that. And I'm very sure she'll be taking legal actions. And by the way, the father of my child is out of jail and he's asking for his child. Mm. Yeah, so that's it. Get out of my house. Oh, Dad, <laughs> that's why I'm here, darling, to leave. I can see you brought out my bag. Thank you so much. It was good while it lasted. Don't be too bad. I said get out it's fine, it's fine. of my a, a house. Wow, you're so angry. Oh, Jesus. You better run the next time you see me. Oh. But you can't see her. Tash, I promise I'm not here for my sister. I, I came here to see Cassandra. I'm sorry, Timmy. I don't want to be rude to you, but you have to go for now. Because she's not talking to me and I doubt if she's going to speak to you. Dash, I, I didn't mean to hurt her, okay? I'm here to right all of my wrongs, all of it. And I also came here to tell her that she could take whatever action she needs to take. I, whatever the outcome is, I, I still will love her. Even if she hates me right now. Please help me, Dasha, please. Okay, um, I'll talk to her, but not now. You have to go and come back, okay? Let me talk to her for you. Hmm? Okay, all right. Sorry about your wound. Thank, thank you. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry about your wound. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, let me help you. 
All right, bye. Uh -huh. Brother, I found who killed you. But she's a sister to the man I love. The man I told you about. But I guess I have to do what I have to do. And what do you think your brother would really want? That you get revenge for his death? Or that you're happy with the man you love? How can I be happy? Hmm? How can I be happy knowing that I'll always be in contact with his sister? She's going to be a constant reminder as to why my brother is no longer here with me. Tell me, how can I be happy? No. No, it's okay. It's okay. Listen to me. Whatever you decide to do, I will stay by you. Okay? Thank you. So many things have ruined your life. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but to me, I need your help. You're, you're all I have. I don't have anyone else to me. Please, I need you to do something. I beg you. <laughs> I can't go to jail. I don't want to go to jail, to me. Please say something. To me, do something, say something, I don't want to go to jail! <laughs> okay. Okay. To me, to me, look at me. To me, if you help me just this one last time, I swear to God, to me, I will come clean. I will go to therapy. I will do anything you want me to do. To me, I beg. To me, I beg. Help me. I know I'm going to jail. To me. To me. To me, please do something. To me, please do something. I don't want to go to jail. I swear. I swear I'll do better by you. I will do better. To me, please. I <laughs> to me. If you want to help me. To chill. To me, you want to help me. You let me go to jail. I'm going to jail. Oh God, I'm going to jail. Oh God, I'm going to jail. <laughs> Have you heard? It scared me. See, 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 see. A lady turns herself in months after she killed her boyfriend. Timmy's sister? Yes, she reported herself. Oh no. What is oh no? You wanted justice for your brother, right? 
Yes, but I... But nothing. See, this is even better, Self. At least you didn't make the decision. So it's not on you. She committed the crime and she wants to pay the price. So let her pay the price. But what about Timmy? Even in my anger, I still miss and care about him. I still love him and this will affect him. Mm. Listen, this is left for you two to figure out. And if you two can come out of this strong, then I will believe that the dreams you had were all fate. Hmm? Huh? But if it doesn't, maybe this was just all for you to get justice for your brother. You see, it's it's a win-win. Hmm? It's okay, it's okay. Stop crying, come here. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, cry, cry, let it all out, let it all out, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm here for you. I heard your sister reported herself. Yeah. I had no idea she was going to do it beforehand. What are you going to do? What am I, what am I supposed to do? She's going to just watch her go to jail. Well, that, that is left for the judge. Everything I did to prevent that was all shades of wrong. And I feel terrible. But right now, I just want things to be the way it should have been from here on. If she had not reported herself, I would have done it. And you were right, Cassie. Collins was someone's, someone's brother. I'm sorry, Cassie. I'm, I'm glad you're finally getting justice for your brother's dead. Thank you. Uh, well, I, I came to tell you that if I'd wanted to report your sister, I would have done it the day I, I saw that video. But since she has reported herself, I would advise you get a good lawyer who can prove that everything was an accident. That way, she will get a minor punishment compared to that of murder. Okay. That's all I came to say. Bye. Hello? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Oh, Friday. <laughs> wow. Coincidentally, his birthday falls on mine. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'll be available. And I will give you a discount because of that reason. My pleasure. Okay, sure. Thank you. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Hey, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, wait you, Remy's. Hey yo, hey yo, chicken, not the cry for night. If you cry for night, now wish, now wish. Happy birthday to the most amazing, beautiful, best in the whole wide world. Thank you for always lending me your clothes for my videos. You mean for letting you steal my clothes? <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I should be thanking you mm -hmm. for being a real friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Uh, what is it? It's Timmy. I didn't tell him about my birthday. I know he probably thinks that you were done. But the truth is, I... I still love him, and I miss yeah. him so very much. Yeah. You know what? Shake it. Shake it off, man. Because not today. Not... Should I cry? No. Hey, wait. Not today, because today is your birthday. <laughs> it's a big day for you. And don't forget, you have job to do. And I... It's true. I volunteer to help you. Really? Mm -hmm. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I need to take advantage of today. Uh -huh. Before I change my mind, use me now. Before I change my mind. All right, all right. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay. Should I eat your cake? Hey. <laughs> Don't worry, I wish for you. <laughs> Here we go. Why is it taking the celebrant forever to get here? That's because the celebrant is here. Where? Right here. All right, fine. We just made you set up your surprise birthday yourself. What are you talking about? I mean, the call was a setup. We made you set up your own surprise birthday. Who's we? I'm just an accomplice. The main person behind all this, the main coco li coco, the coco the coco person Drive your is Drumbo. Come inside. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Hi. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. I love it. I'm glad you do. Aww. I thought you were done. I thought you were done with me. But I spoke to Tasha and she told me your birthday was approaching. And then I thought it would be a great time for us to discuss about us. And Tasha told me something quite funny. She, she did? Tasha, did I? Hmm? I? Mm, kinda. Well, Tasha told me that before you and I met, mm -hmm. you used to dream about me. No, she did not. Oh my God. Okay, now I'm embarrassed. No, no need to be embarrassed. Well, as uh, so where does that sound? It's true. Mm. <laughs> Nothing good comes easy. Our love did not come easy either. Aww. And I'm glad that in everything, my love for you keeps waxing stronger. Ooh. And I love you more and even harder every day. <laughs> and I do not want to lose you Aww. for anything in the world. Ooh. I don't want to lose it too. Yeah, girl. <laughs> kiss. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> you were kissed, right? <laughs> okay, I think it's time for me to exit. <laughs> Bye, lovers. <laughs>
Thank you for this. I love it. You're welcome. Thank Do you. I have lipstick on? Of course, let me clean that for you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love it. And I love you. I love you. All right.